My name is Elise Harb. I'm an optometrist, and I've led over a dozen eye care trips serving villages along the Atlantic coast of Nicaragua. We've been receiving our glasses supply from Restoring Vision for about the last seven years. If you haven't ordered from them in the past, I think you'd be pleased by the quality and variety they offer. We certainly have been. The purpose of this video is to help you set up your own dispensary using reading glasses you receive from Restoring Vision. It's important to realize that although I'm an optometrist, you don't actually need to have an eye care professional to successfully dispense reading glasses. It's actually quite easy, and the people you'll be helping will tell you when you've got it right. It's also important to realize, though, that sometimes people might come to your clinic with eye diseases that won't be helped by reading glasses, and they really need an eye care professional, but that's beyond the scope of your trip. If possible, it would be great if you can refer these people to local clinics for additional help. To understand why reading glasses are so important, we need just a little bit of information about our eyes. As we age, the muscle around the lens in your eye, which allows us to focus up close, begins to weaken. So as we age, we start to have trouble seeing up close. This is called presbyopia, and everyone gets it. Luckily, a pair of reading glasses is usually all someone with presbyopia needs to be able to see up close again, providing them an improvement in functional vision and allowing them to be able to do the things that they once did before their vision deteriorated, like sew or weave or bait a fishing hook or even read. Oftentimes, people actually lose their jobs if they don't see well up close. So being able to provide reading glasses can be really powerful to the livelihood of a community. Another interesting fact is that presbyopia tends to happen about 10 years earlier in the developing world. So the reading glasses you're planning on dispensing will actually help a wider range of patients. So let's look at some typical glasses that you'll be receiving from Restoring Vision. They're organized by power, either in bags or in a box, and the powers range from plus one, the weakest power, to plus three, the strongest power. Many of the glasses will have tags on them from the stores, you can remove these ahead of time if you like. The other thing to remember is that the power of each frame is actually printed on the frame, so you don't have to worry about losing that information. One of the first things to figure out is how many styles of each power of glasses you have. Many of the glasses you'll receive are unisex, meaning that they can be worn by a man or a woman. We'll talk more about styles in a minute. So now let's talk about organizing your dispensing table. The first thing to do is to organize your glasses stock by order of power underneath your table or behind you. Then what I like to do is take some tape to label your table by power from lowest power to highest power. You can then take one pair of each style for each power that you have and organize it to the corresponding power. I would recommend not putting more than five styles out at any given time. Oftentimes, the choosing of the style is the part of the dispensing process that takes the longest. So now let's talk about the testing area. This is the part of the dispensary where you'll be determining the right power of glasses that's appropriate for your patient. What I like to do is grab a frame in each of the half diopter steps. For example, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, and three diopters. These will be the test glasses that you use for your patient to determine the right power of glasses for them. The other thing that's important to have in the testing area are appropriate reading materials for your patient. A reading card from Restoring Vision works perfectly. You can also use some magazines or newspapers in your patient's language. But keep in mind that often patients like to look at their cell phone or their watch or even thread a needle, and these things are perfectly fine as well. You will also need to remind people that these glasses are just for reading or seeing things up close and not for distance. Okay, so now you're ready to see your first patient. One of the first things to figure out is how to manage the crowds. What I like to do is have a community member help you to write down the patient's name and their age on a piece of paper. The patient can then carry this paper with them throughout the dispensing process to help you. Another thing that's helpful is to have a line of chairs around the room that you're working so that patients can sit down in an order that they are to be seen. A community person or people mover can also help you to move people into the testing area, through the dispensing area, and then exiting as they're finished. 
When a person first comes to your testing area, you can use the age printed on their paper to help guide you. If the patient's younger than 50, I would recommend starting with a plus 150 power frame. If the patient is older than 50, you probably should start with a plus two frame. Put the glasses on, like so, and have them hold some reading material about 16 inches from their face. If they naturally pull the reading material away, that means the glasses are too weak. If they pull the reading material close, that means the glasses are too strong. Keep doing that until you find a prescription that works best for them at an appropriate reading distance. Once you've found the right prescription for your patient, make sure you write down the prescription on their paper before you send them to the dispensing table. Now that we've found the appropriate prescription for our patient, we should send them over to the dispensing table so they can find the right style for themselves. When the patient comes to your dispensing table, take a look at what prescription has been prescribed for them and send them to the appropriate power. Let them choose a style that's right for them. If they don't really find a style that they like in the appropriate power, it's important to remember that there's not that much of a difference between a quarter diopter step change in a power. So if a patient's prescribed a plus 175 and they don't find a style they really like in that power, send them to the plus two or plus 150 to find a style that's right for them. It's also important to remember that choosing the style can often be the thing that takes the most time. So depending on the crowds that are building, you can strongly suggest one style over another. So one thing that's important to consider when you're going through the dispensing process is that sometimes the glasses might not be perfect for your patients. This can happen, say, in an elderly patient that has a cataract or a yellowing of the lens, or a patient who has a difference in prescription between the two eyes. You might find sometimes that patients say the glasses aren't perfect. And it's important to remember to tell your patients that although they might not be perfect because of conditions such as these, they will help them tremendously in their day-to-day -day lives. If you decide to dispense sunglasses on your trip, it's important to remember that sunglasses are only a matter of style. And remember, style takes time. So I would recommend only putting a few pairs of sunglasses on a table at once to help the flow of your day. Sunglasses prevent ultraviolet rays from entering the eye, which can actually cause a number of eye diseases. So they're very important. If you find that you're running low on sunglasses, I would recommend dispensing sunglasses only to those people who have occupations outside. That's it. You're on your way to a memorable experience and making a huge difference in the lives of people that otherwise couldn't get glasses. Thank you for your work.